just lurking. You dirty lurker. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Oh, okay. This one might take a while. <laughs> nice jump. Doing like a tap jump there, I'm pretty sure. Maybe not. Oh shit. I'm assuming those blocks are Kaizo blocks. Tap jump. Yeah, this one's gonna be tough. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I keep I keep pushing it too long. I can get high enough to... Oh, there we go. Oh, shit. Oh, I saved myself. And I killed myself. Oh, shit. Okay. Can't believe I did that first try. Okay, that's why the squares are there, to jump off of the icicles. Cool. That's pretty cool. I like that. Oh, man. Alright, then we're gonna jump into the dry bowls. I'm calling them dry bowls. I've heard, uh... What are the other things that they're calling those things? I'm trying to remember what poop call them. Bone boats? No. Bone bucket. There you go. Thank you. I like dry bowl. I think that's good. Bones bucket's pretty good too, I guess. Uh, this is level by the Haxor. He's a awesome uh, Super Mario Brothers 3 speedrunner. Actually, if you watched SGDQ, you would have saw him in the uh, All Forts race with Mitch, Flower Power, Grand Pooh Bear, and Lasso. He actually came in second, too. And he's a cool guy too. I had a chance to meet him at AGDQ in January. Get to hang out a little bit. Cool guy. That was a good race, yeah. It was unfortunate the way that Pooh died because it was on like it was on one of the hand up. Wow! I got a lot of speed there. It was like a stupid jump, missed jump on one of the hand levels. Otherwise it would have been really like closer to you. The five hands, yeah. You know, Lasso was a pretty good chunk behind, but he got he got some of the cool tricks, so <clears throat> Yeah, 
third door and that one up. Oh, oh, this is Mario 1. This is Mario 1. I can't grab it. I keep trying to grab the shell to put it on. Oh, you haven't watched that one yet? Oh, well, sorry. I just... I just spoiled the end for you. <laughs> you should watch it regardless, because it's, it's very entertaining. It was a good one. Also, one on swag points, yeah. I don't watch for the outcome. Oh, that's good. Oh my god. The blind Kaiser race, yeah. I think the best part about the blind Kaiser race was how they put that, how they put the actual hack together where it had like the person's name, whoever was playing at the moment. Oh wow, okay. Like, that was really cool. That community is crazy, yeah. But the, 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 I mean, the race itself were really good. I mean, every, every level was within, like, seconds, right? Not even. On some levels. It was really close. And the levels were cool, too. It was very entertaining. Hey, what's up, Magic Creek? It's going pretty well. How are you? Three or four minutes, yeah. Do any of you guys... <laughs> Spoonish, do any of you guys follow, um, uh, Juz Cook on Twitter? He was one of the competitors in that one. He's been posting, uh, he's been posting a lot of clips from him playing multiplayer verses where he's just, like, dying laughing. It's, like, the funniest, some of the funniest stuff I've ever watched. Uh, no, this is a level, um, by the Haxer. He posted it in, uh, in Discord, so I'm just playing through it now. Um, I have people posting levels in Discord that they want me to play through. So I'm just getting caught up. I think this is the last one I have to catch up on. I posted a couple for myself. I played the Clack on level already. But we have to play the new speed balls. We have to play the new speed balls. And there's another level. I didn't actually watch the other level. I caught the end of it. Well, I, I didn't even catch the end. I just caught when uh, Pooh finished it and he said it was like the greatest level he ever played. And I was like, oh. Because he heard it from somebody else or something like that, so I'll have to check that one out too. I don't think I have your Discord. Should be in my panels. Um, if not, I mean, do you have a level that you want me to check out? Depending how long this one takes, I could probably check it out afterwards. Yeah. Yeah, they were all making fun of him because he couldn't figure it out. <laughs> yeah, and then he, he ends up like pulling it out. He almost beat it the first the the time before that too. When you get to that final fight, he was one hit away, I think it was. That part stuff. It's not too hard, it's just uh it's weird momentum and timing. I'll add it. Okay, yeah, just in case. Just in case this level takes me like a million years. There's a Mario Maker 2 levels um, section in Discord. You just pop it in there. If I don't get to it tonight, uh, I'll play it next time. I try to highlight them all too, and either I'll post the. just in case you're not around when I do play it. Um, if I found it. <laughs> Just in case you're not around when I do play, I'll highlight it and I'll post a I'll post a video in Discord. I was gonna play through Bitfault's level, but too, because I have still have to play his. But he's usually around, so I might just wait till next time. And uh, when he 
levels here. The levels are boring? Oh, that's okay. They might not be boring. I might find them enjoyable. You never know. What kind of level is it? Is it like an easy level? Like a traditional, like, kind of level you would find in like an actual game? But yeah, if you guys don't follow Juz, Juz could be on Twitter. Uh, any any of the guys who playing like I like the Beast has been posting a bunch of uh, stuff on Twitter. Um, like fun, like everyone's having such a good time with the multiplayer versus. Yeah, I'm gonna post a link to this one. You check this one out. This is like a compilation of a couple of them. This is hilarious. I saw this, I think it was earlier today. Or maybe it was last night, I don't know. I think it was today. Well, this level's fun, but it can be hard if you overthink things. Is it like a puzzly kind of level or no? I do like, uh, I do like puzzle levels. It takes me a while to figure them out sometimes, but I... I kind of like them. Because they're kind of like escape rooms kind of like levels. You might make one someday. I'd like to make a cool puzzle level too. I just know it probably wouldn't be that good. It would either be completely linear and straightforward, and it wouldn't be any fun. Or it would be so complicated that nobody would know because I think like a weirdo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, his his are the best. The beast has uh, some of the better ones. He's always posting good stuff. getting worse at this part now. Oh, you added one? Cool, cool. Oh, man. I'm getting much worse. that next section, but actually I don't think it's gonna work now. I was thinking you had to like hop up on the saws again, like in his last level. Um, inside the dry bowl. But... Actually, I don't think we can do that now that I think about it. Ah. I want to just go fast like that. Then I think we're gonna get another another dry bowl somewhere. I think it's gonna drop down, then we hop on the saw is what it, that's what it looks like. I'm hoping there's a checkpoint. I know there's a checkpoint somewhere in this level according to the comments. Hopefully it's at the top of this section. Hey Wally, I saw on Twitter. Speaking of Twitter, when was that? I can't now. I can't remember what day it was either. I think it was today too. That you you got some stuff. I 
I know you were talking about your computer earlier, but I saw some other stuff that you got. Saturday night? Oh. I think I just saw it today, or yesterday. Oh, hold on. Oh, there it is! Ah! New console and some indie games. Yeah. I like indie games too. Yeah, that's cool though. That was pretty smooth. That was the best I've done that part so far. Aw, oh, man. Screwed up the jump. Yeah, that, that time before that was close. I think I needed to do a higher jump out of that last one. Oops. Who keeps asking, him, asking me when I'm getting a switch? Well... There's a checkpoint at the top of that saw section. Uh, if this is like his other level. His other level was wasn't that wasn't that long either. It was just like a couple sections. It was tough though. It took over took like 40 minutes to clear. So it's feeling about the same. Ah oh, man. <laughs> I'm gonna stream switch games. <laughs> Okay, who here knows? Okay, who here knows like a good deal about computers? Like internal computer parts. What's a computer? Uh, it's a thing that helps you solve math problems. Oh man. I just have a question about something that I heard in another stream. Calculator? No, a computer. Uh, technically, I mean, isn't a calculator technically a computer anyways? Right? A big calculator? Pretty much. It's a big expensive calculator. Yeah. My computer has a calculator. Oh my god. Is that the thing that helps you code computer games? Calculator? <laughs> Is that thing you play Minesweeper on? And Solitaire. Free Cell. Any, anyone else ever learn how to play Free Cell? Free Cell is fun. Oh! I don't even know what a computer is. Ah. I got this weird hair poking me in the nose again. Are you talking about getting a second? Yeah, did you hear me say that earlier? <laughs> yeah, I had I had more questions about that. Like, is that a thing? Oregon Trail? I never played that. I, I, I did play that, but I, I was too young to remember, like, much about it. Oh, we did it! <sighs> yeah, cause some I forgot. I don't I don't remember which stream I was in, but 
somebody said, they were like, you know, what I always recommend, because the per I think the person was talking about, like, their computer. Oh! I think it was Zallard stream. I was watching Zallard the other day, and he said he has a computer from, like, ten years ago. That barely functions as a streaming computer. Somebody said, what I recommend for anyone who has, like, an older computer, or doesn't have money to, like, you know, do some serious upgrades, is to buy a cheap secondary video card. Nice. Oh, whoa! And then, um, run all the streaming... the streaming stuff to that separate video card. Let that handle all the, um, the processing. And then your other video card and the rest of your computer handles the rest. I was like, oh. I mean, that sounds like a good idea. I just want to know, like, how feasible, like, is that true? Does that make sense? And also, is that something, like, anyone can do? Like, I don't know shit about computers. Like, would I be able to buy one and put it in myself and somehow figure out how to run all my stuff through it? Sounds really technical to me. Yeah, right? Like, it sounds very simple when you, in like, when it's said out loud, but I wouldn't know the first thing about A, what kind of card I'd be looking for, B, where the hell to put it in this thing. I mean, my computer has a clear, a clear case on the side, so I can see into it, I can see all the stuff inside of my computer, there's a lot of space in there. But I don't know where anything goes. The, span the fans are still spinning, so that's good. I would like to build my own computer at some point, though. I was gonna do it before I got this one. I was gonna get all the stuff and build my own computer, because I thought that would be cool. But I didn't want to, like, screw it up. Alright, here we go. Oh man, I thought you could hug that wall. I think I'll do that, like, for my next one, though. Um, as while, as long as, like, this one's still running, fine. Like, maybe once I have spare money, like, just start buying random parts. And then once I have all the parts, like, build my own computer. I think that'd be fun. But I'd want to do it more for, like, uh like a hobby kind of thing, as opposed to like, I need a new computer so I'm gonna build one. Just in case, like, I screw it up. I don't wanna be left with, like, nothing. Alright, that part's really fun once you get it down. Oh man, I went too far again. You probably need at least two video card ports on your motherboard. Okay. Help build your own. Logical increments and PC part picker. Huh. I'm gonna copy that. That's good to know. Thank you for that. I could figure it out. I mean, I'm pretty good. I'm a pretty fast learner, and I'm pretty good with, like, technology stuff. Like, I can figure it out pretty quickly. Wow. That was, like, too good. Jumped right over it. Oops. <laughs> Thank you. 
I don't know, my main thing is I would like to... I'd like to be able to stream in 60 frames per second. That's a huge deal. But I feel like playing something like this... You know, when I'm playing like NES games or Super Nintendo games or whatever, like I feel like it's not that important because my capture is not like HD, whatever. But this one is, so I feel like it would benefit to have it in 60. It would look a lot smoother. I just have it a lot smoother in general. I noticed uh, sometimes when I'm watching back my streams, like things get fuzzy or things get weird. And I think it's because like my encoding, the encoding—that's the word I was looking for. Like the encoding gets backed up or something like that. So when that guy said that in the chat the other day. I was like, oh, that makes sense. I'm like, that could maybe help me out. Oh, okay, okay. That's cool. That was pretty good. I jumped right out of it. Jumped too high. again. That's probably the worst you can do. Oh, how? Twelve o'clock forever. I mean, forever. <laughs> I was reading something and talking at the same time. It's twelve o'clock forever. <laughs> I meant to say already, and then I was reading something, and it's for some reason I said forever. It's 12 o'clock for You know that saying, like, it's 5 o'clock somewhere? We're changing it. Got a new saying now. It's 12 o'clock forever. Forever 12 o'clock. Haxer loves these fucking... <laughs> these saw jumps, man. He had a lot of these in his, uh... His other level that I played. Just like that saying, except not about except not about drinking in the morning. Yeah, exactly. Hey, but twelve o'clock could be either way, right? It could be middle of the afternoon. It could be the middle of the night. Have options with twelve o'clock. I guess you technically do about five o'clock too. But who really likes five in the morning? <laughs> it's 12 o'clock everywhere. Does anyone truly like 5 a.m.? I guess some people do. It's weird morning people. I'm sorry if you're a weird morning person in here, but I don't get it. Oh, 
Oh my god. I'm yell at Haxor next time I see him about his stupid saw jumps. Mornings are just like afternoons, but with no people. <laughs> so you're a morning person. I don't know, you know those people though who are just like... They're just like so... Uh... Like lively in the morning. There's one person that I work with. They really get there at 7 o'clock. She's just like full on, like wide awake, like talking, talking, talking. I'm just like, I have, I'm. It's too much for this time of day. You're one of those people. <laughs> you wake up easily. I've never been like I, I could get. Six hours of sleep or 16 hours of sleep, like as soon as I wake up or if it's that early in the morning. I'm just like, nah, like, I need to eat. Except now I don't eat in the morning. I need coffee. Oh man! That's not even the end! There's like a conveyor and more, more saws up there. <laughs> Stupid saw jumps, yeah. Is he streaming right now? Let's go see. I'm gonna go see if he's streaming. I'm gonna go yell at him. Or some people, I guess. I'm just not one of those people. I never have been. I did have one job when I was 18. I was 18? Yeah, it was when I was 18. I had a job during the summer. I worked at a golf course, like doing um, like greens work, so just like basically landscaping with the, the actual golf course. God damn it! And we had to we we started work at five in the morning. You had to be there at like four thirty, four forty-five, because you had to get like make sure all the all the equipment it was like gassed up and you knew like what the plan was for the morning. Uh, I actually like that job though. I mean, it sucked getting up that early. You know, 18 years old during the summertime, you're up at, you know, 4 o'clock every morning. But that job was actually a lot of fun. I actually made a, I made a good amount of money, too, at, for, at that age for that time, anyways. Night Owls Unite. You're a night owl and a morning person? You are, you are, you are a maniac. Oh, it is getting up while it's still dark. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you're right. Getting up before dawn is rough. It's weird. It's kind of trippy, right? Like, it doesn't feel like the morning. It's just... It's really bizarre. I've taken a few flights where, um... My flight left at like 6 in the morning, and the, but the airport's like 2 hours away. So I'm like up at 3, have to leave the house by like 4. Yeah, it's, it's bizarre. It's just, it's very like spooky almost. God, that keeps happening! I hate these saw jumps. 
then like you're out on the road and like there's nobody on the road. At least here anyways. I'm sure if you live in like a major city like there's always people out, but... Or like in Vegas, there's like, there's just people around all the time. But here it's like 3 in the morning, there's like nobody's on the road, everything's closed. It's like a ghost town, it's weird. It starts to mess with you a little bit too, right? Like you feel like you've, like you're awake, like it feels like morning physically, but then like you start getting a little tired all over again because like it's dark out and you feel like you should be sleeping, or like your day, your day should be ending. So you get like this weird, like trippy mindset. I don't know if anyone else ever gets that. Yeah, it depends, I guess, what city. And where in the city you're at, too. Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> Till 4? Yeah. Well, it's like in Vegas too, like everything's open all the time, like nothing ever closes. So, like there's just always stuff going on, there's people around doing stuff. It's kind of cool in some ways, like, it's like... Like, if you wanted, like, a Subway sandwich at, like, 4 in the morning, like, you know you can get one out there. <laughs> I don't know why you'd ever be craving Subway at 4 in the morning, but if you were... Yeah, no problem. Yeah, there's always something to do, but there aren't... Yeah, it's not as crazy, I guess. But there's still, like, some people around, right? Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, you dick! <laughs> Why would you put those up there? Just trying to get my bearings. That was a... Dick Icicle. And New York City and Boston. Yeah, here, like, everything... everything closes... I mean, the normal places close at, like, 10 o'clock. You know, like, you have, like, your bars and restaurants are open to, like, 1. It's, like, pretty much any time after 2 o'clock, there's, like, nothing going on. Not that I'm, like, out all the time around that. It's, like, the only time I am, really, is, like, if I have an early flight to catch, there's just no one on the road. Can't get this part down. I'm really mad about that icicle. Should have known better though, they're literally on every ceiling in the level. Should have known better. Doo -doo -doo -doo.
Now I can see why the world record is 16 minutes. I don't know how long I've been on this one now for. I should start, I should keep a timer going. It's 12.13, it was just 12 o'clock forever. So it's been at least 13 minutes. Okay, just gotta go for it. No, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Okay. 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 <sighs> it's a gaming wall, Dad. You never be able to do this kind of level. Oh man. I didn't know that was gonna like shoot me off like that. 40 minutes? That's probably. That sounds about right. This is rude. That's not too bad. Aww. Get so used to pushing it. Push it too much. Alright, I know what to do now, at least, so that's good. And I know what to expect, I know what's gonna happen. I'm assuming the checkpoint's gotta be right after that next section. <laughs> Last five minutes and shut it off and cry. <laughs> yeah. It's not easy. I have to beat it now, just so we can leave in the comments. What should we say? Eleven thirty-three, according to the chat timestamps. Oh shit! It's almost an hour. I would have had several checkpoints on this. He's got at least one. According to the comments. This whole sucks to lead it. Nah, it doesn't suck. It's good. It's good. I just hate the I just hate the the saw jumps. They're so awkward. It's hard to like get control over him. He knows that too, he said that for his last level too. Typical hackser. Watch now he's gonna make a he's gonna make a new level that's just like all saw jumps now just to like stick it to me. He never watches that. You gonna settle in for the night? Yeah, I guess so. If you're gonna be up in like two hours. <laughs> yeah, thanks for hanging out, man. I appreciate it. Thanks for a good luck. You have a good night. Okay. We're back. 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 Oh god. So this just happened, Mini Keat comes in from the computer room where I assume he was watching your stream with Pete. Says, Mom, are you watching KLM streaming here? I said, no, not right now. With the most offended voice, he said, well, he's streaming right. He's streaming, so he probably should be. <laughs> That's awesome. Tell him, uh... <clears throat> Tell him he needs to go, like, everywhere and say that. Tell everybody.
Also, hi, Wifey Key. How are you? Yeah, see you later, Kamikaze Mania. Mini Key is adorable. I think it's awesome that he's got his little setup like right behind uh, Papa Keats desk. He's got his own little chair, his own little everything. It's cool. Nice you do it. There's the hack, sir. Sick bastard. What's with the sh what's with the saw jumps? More saw jumps. It's busy. Hey, hey. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm gonna keep him. <laughs> I think yeah, I think it's a good idea. I think you should keep him. Yeah, how are you doing, Haxer? By the way. so bad. Listen to the coins, they tell the truth. It's actually consistent? What am I doing wrong, man? Oh, listen to the coins. You just said that. Yeah, it's not bad so far. Last level was jank. Oh, Hacks of the jank. The jank. Wait, why was there two coins? Oh, is that what you're saying? Like... Hmm. I've only gotten up there, like, twice now. I'm having a really hard time with it. This section's cool, I like that part. Oh shit. I think I see what to do. Okay, I had to jump off the thwomp, bounce off the Goomba, then jump out of the, the dry bowl. <laughs> I was so confused by that. Yeah, I think we got it. Alright. Took a weird angle. You, you're a weird angle. I don't know why that jumping off those saws is like the hardest thing for me to do. It says Z. Those are Z's. Those are Z's. They look like R's. Kaka face? Oh no. It's hard to get consistent. Yeah, it's a little... It's, it's just weird. Kind of goofy, I guess. That's the only way I can think to describe it. 
Oh, there we go. Now I'm a professional. Oh, I bounced. It's a weird bounce. Professional pro gamer, that's right. Oh shit, that was even better. No! <laughs> that bomb section, you just gotta, you gotta duck. You gotta become the, uh, the bone pile, I guess. I don't know what else to call it. And then you become invulnerable. Unless we talk about the section after that. Oh shit. This is bad. Alright, then we saved it. Oh, those icicles up there at the top there? Taxer. We're shit. I was trying to I was trying to bounce on top of that last saw to like get my bearings and jumped right into the <laughs> This was like the first time I got up there, I'm like, alright, I'm gonna bounce here and see what I need to do. Just bounce right into a fucking icicle. Not by going down the path. <laughs> Get off my saws. I don't get the Z part though. I mean, I know what it does. How do I buy enough time for that bomb to explode? There's a box there? What do boxes mean? Is there a boat inside of it? Uh, it means you gotta jump off of something, right? But the thwomp gets thrown away, so I think I have to, like, jump up first. I think I just I think I just answered my own question. I'm scared about the second half after the checkpoint because if it It still took Gadian 16 minutes to beat the level is the record time, so that means it probably took him like 15 minutes after the checkpoint. So we still got a while to go here. And that's probably he who knows how long he was playing it before, because the comment says what did the comment say? It's like that checkpoint saved saved me hours of my life or something like that. There's something that appears from the ceiling? Oh oh an icicle? Like the, like these boxes. They're ice boxes. Hours or years. Oh maybe it said years, yeah. <laughs> Is that Goomba like a troll or no? Definitely needs to. I think I did that right. Oh god, too fast. Yeah, Goomba to the icicle. Yeah. First version in 28 minutes. Good Kaizo players couldn't even get to the sauce. 
luckily I'm not a good Kaizo player. I'm like a... Average... Average Kaizo. I didn't even graduate kindergarten yet. No, it's really not too bad. Ah, oh, fuck. She just went for it. I haven't even enrolled. Oh, you know what levels we should play through, too? Uh, Carl Sagan, just like in Mario Maker 1, he made uh, some Kaizo College levels. Oh, there we- Oh, I hit the spike! Why is that spike there? I went up the wall a little bit because it looked like the bomb wasn't going to explode in time. And I went too high and I hit the spike. <laughs> my wall. Oh, learn to Kaizo? Yeah. I heard that one was pretty good. <laughs> Don't rub my wall. I have to delay a little bit. Hmm. Oh, okay. Like, do like a full jump up kind of thing and then just sneak in. Oh man. <laughs> Stroke the furry walls. <laughs> and life hands you a Jeffrey. Yo, that movie is hilarious. So funny. Get him to the Greek. Alex, remember when um, I showed you that song? Um, is that song that Inside of You song? So I think that was... I think that one was originally from, um... Forgetting Sarah Marshall, though, wasn't it? Which is also a great movie. That was Forgetting Sarah, yeah, okay. Another great movie. Oh my god, that one part, um... <laughs> in Forgetting Sarah Marshall, that one part where he's like, uh... Oh. It's not right. When he's like playing at the piano, he's all depressed. I laughed so hard at that part. The first time I saw that. <laughs> Remember when I showed you that inside of you song? <laughs> that song, yeah. Making. Why was he making fun of you? Oh, cause she, oh, cause she put a Z at the end of your name. Yeah, that one and Get Him to the Greek was the other one. That movie's, that movie's really funny, too. Ah, 
Oh, man. Alright, now I think it's been officially one hour. You started it. Oh, man. You like my icicles? Oh, I can touch your icicles, that's fine. But you won't let me touch your wall or your saws or anything else. I see how it is. She's like, the voices are real thing. <laughs> okay. Hello. <laughs> Touch the icicle. Uh, I don't like the icicles. I hate them. Actually, this part is cool. I do like that part. This thing completely. Uh. Crystal Cavern. Should have been called something else, like Haxer's Ice Box of Saws. Not stupid. I'll be entertained at the end, is that what you said? When you say the end, I think you'll be entertained. Oh god. I can only imagine. Jank jump cavern. <laughs> That's a good name. All right, okay, now you have to make a level that has that name now. <laughs> Jank jump cavern sounds like a Donkey Kong Country level, doesn't it? If I smother him in his sleep tonight, you all know why. Yeah. I know, as soon as I read that, it made me think of Donkey Kong Country. Okay. Let's go a little bit further. There it is. Okay. We're in there. Okay. That's okay. We hit the checkpoint. <laughs> okay, I gotta swing it. Swing it. Oh shit. Okay, that's cool. That part's cool. Oh, what the fuck is that jump? <laughs> Oops. Nope, 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 nope. Some poor bastard and super expert is gonna do that. <laughs> uh, most likely. Ah! That jump is fair now? You should have seen the original version, I was supposed to fix it perfect. Jesus. Alright, we can fix this. Okay. 
Is that the end there? Oh, ah, shit. Okay. You jump further horizontal, the closer... You jump further horizontal, the closer your jump is to 90 degrees. I see. Oh. I panicked there. I wasn't expecting to make the jump there, and I did. I didn't know what to do. Ah, oh, shit. That was a bad attempt. I didn't jump high enough. Can you make that? Can you make it to that P switch without swinging up there? I'm assuming not, but that looked pretty close. Oh shit! I forgot how slippery. Maybe, but it's probably harder than the intended way. be the blindest of blind jumps. Oh well, yeah, if that was like the intended way to do it. Okay. Oh, Many keys. That P switch used to be one more tile away. You're sick. You're sick, man, Hexer. And you cleared that version in 28 minutes. So why'd you change it? It was just you thought it was too hard. Oh. 
I'll show you the clip. Oh, from the original one? It was too hard, man. No clears in 3,000 attempts. Man, I remember, um... I remember... In Mario Maker 1, like, once, like, all of the hard levels were, like... Uh, super popular. Okay, okay. Okay. Fuck! Wait! Okay, what? Oh, I made it! Psh. I wasn't expecting to make it. Yeah, that was close, yeah. I don't... You have to wait out that P-switch timer. underneath there. I saw a floating Goomba. Oh. So close. You do not? There's an opening, it's like one block, or did you change it to two now? There's two tiles you can get in. <laughs> yeah. Was it one before? Oh, it didn't fall. It went too fast. It was easier before? Why'd you make it harder? Why are you so mean, Haxer? Okay. Oh, that jump is free. Oh, shit! <laughs> we made it. Oh, there's a little block at the end there. Or there's a coin that turns into a block. Cheese. Cheese. I think that that's gonna be much harder though. Cause all that momentum that you have out off of that first uh, P switch, you have to like crank back on the left and just hopefully you can balance yourself out to get a good jump off the second one. <laughs> that's world record strat stuff. Yeah. That's above my pay grade stuff. Watch out for ice, it's always up there, I know. <laughs> That's why when that, that, <laughs> that first, when I was bouncing off that top saw and I got killed by the ice, I was so mad. But then afterwards I was like, wait, there's ice literally everywhere on the ceiling. <laughs> I should be too mad about it. These claw grips, though, were a great addition, though. These things make a lot of fun stuff. I don't know, I gotta stop going for that. I keep checking that it's always gonna be there. <laughs> gotta just make sure. Well, Haxer told me to touch his icicles, so... Gotta make sure I touch all of them. <laughs> Uh 
Oh. Oh no! <laughs> like that one. And he must have the same thing and get so mad. <laughs> He's pretty funny. I, uh. Who raided him one day? I watched him for a little bit. He's like, that was bad level design. Oh, did you give him the original version? Follow the coins. I feel like the coins are a troll. You gave him the second nerf version. <laughs> Wait, the second nerfed version? <laughs> There's more? Follow the coins, he says. <laughs> There's a box, too. I didn't see the box. Everyone else saw the box. I missed the box. Ah, oh, shit. You missed a coin. <laughs> what does the box mean? What's in the box? Oops, shit. <laughs> That's... That jump, that final jump. Oh, yeah, I didn't see that top box the first time. I was just. I was looking at the wall. Or are you talking about the jump at the top here? Fucking ice! Who buttered that icicle? 
the top claw jump? Yeah, this one. Seems pretty fair. Yeah, that jump's not too bad at all. I don't think the ice physics are necessarily bad. It just takes a little bit to get used to. It just adds a, like a few extra attempts in. Oops. Like this part at first. Like I died I think twice on it because I slipped right off. So then you just learn you have to... Balance yourself out before you land, or as you're landing. Oh god, don't start over. <laughs> yeah, that, that last attempt was pretty bad. Oh man. Getting worse. I think I'm getting tired. Didn't jump high enough. Just start over. Got him. What a dick. <laughs> That's a dick move. Oh yeah. Yeah. I just want I I think you're gonna love the ending. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be glorious. A glorious ending indeed. <laughs> that of course it was. How am I supposed to... How am I supposed to get through there, then? Jump at the coin? Do I gotta jump later? Drop lower? Yeah, okay. Just follow the coins. Dude, literally, like, every level is just follow the coins. I don't believe a word that comes out of your mouth. Or fingers. Any words that come from your fingers. Oh. Coins make sense, random Kaiser blocks, not so much. Yeah. That was a mean one. <laughs> yeah, but they're entertaining. Well, I need, as soon as... As soon as you said, oh, I can't wait till you get to the end, I think you're gonna like it, or whatever. It's like... Great. Looking, for, looking forward to that. 
That's... <laughs> Alright, we gotta we gotta start walking a little bit. Imagine no checkpoint. That'd be awful. I'm with I'm with Gadian on this one. Checkpoint saved saved my life. I would have to call into work tomorrow. Maybe the next day too. Skip eating. Oh god. Hey, I beat it without it four different times. Past my bedtime, yeah. Stupid hat. Blame, blame stupid hacksers. Fucking jank jump caverns. Ah! How do you do that last jump? Must complete to get to my level. <sighs> oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking on that one. <laughs> so, hey, well, I'm gonna be an expert at jumping off of these uh, claw grips now. Start moving forward around the coin, jump and Mario starts to go off screen. Jump sooner, yeah. Okay. I think I gotta try to land more on the left side too. Oh god. Yeah. Oh shit. I think more on the left helps a lot. Helps you hit another Kaizo block, probably. It's probably some weird thing where if you jump from like the left side of the icicle you fall through the bottom of the screen or something. Okay, that was good. Oh, I didn't start running. <laughs> There's only one. Oh, it's a good one. They always are. Oh, shit. Just need the speed. Should I start running sooner then? If I. Because it seemed like it took me a little bit to start getting my momentum. Oh shit. Oh god. No. Oh. Can't believe I saved that. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> I wanted that to be the one. One block above the- oh, okay. That's why it makes no sense. That block, yeah. You 
stupid block. Alright, left side, start running above the coin, jump as Mario's going off the screen. Oops. Block was compromised with checkpoint. Okay! Yo, Orange Man, 20, thanks for the host. Welcome everybody, how was your stream? Oh, it's gonna make it! I wasn't trying to do that, but it almost made it. Uh, I was currently playing through the Haxers level, he's here in chat. Or right at the end. Uh, I'll probably be done shortly after that. Uh, I might check out Magic Freak's level really quick. See if it's something we can... Uh... Maybe something we can play really quick. Hey, Mega Mega Mech. Hello. Okay. You got Kaizo during the clear attempts. Good. <laughs> oh, that 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 makes it all better, right? <laughs> you and everybody else got Kaizo during their clear attempts. Lurking the Mega Man speedruns? Oh, cool. Yeah, I've definitely seen your name before. That's cool. Uh, how was your stream? What were you, what were you playing? <laughs> Longer than I expected by a good time. Nobody gets the quote? From your name? I don't. I usually don't get many things though, so it's okay. I'm not surprised. Jesus Christ. I need to go to bed. Okay, we need to finish so Mank not can go to bed. Hello there. Well... The other thing that makes me think of is from Diddy Kong Racing. The elephant. Except I don't think he says hello there. I think he says whoa there. Or maybe. I don't know. I always thought he said hello there. Hello there. This is for you. Bye bye for now. Yeah! <laughs> no pressure, man cannot, can't sleep. Well, now you can sleep. Oh, we didn't break the record. Impossible? It's not a 